Hey everybody, it's Jeff here at the Brethren Workshop. So I went down in the room to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the star and crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh brothers, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. And I wanted to share this passage with you today. It's from Philippians 4. And verse 6, and it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And that verse uh, kind of was on my heart after Pastor Nathan preached Sunday about uh, prayer. And, you know, he, and it stuck in mind how he was saying about, you know, to trust God with the big things. And sometimes we don't we don't do that. We we don't you know. I, I know I used to pray and ask for people you know that, that were sick or you know family member whatever you know or myself and say hey I'm sick you know uh, guide to nurses and doctors which is fine, but you know we remember that you know we have an awesome God and and He is the God of everything. And I learned, you know, to say, hey, you know, I, I had, my dad had problems with his intestines, you know, I, and I thought, God, you can give him new intestines. Or if you have a friend that has heart problems, you know, it's not just, can you heal him? Can you have the doctors and nurses give him the right medicine? Say, you're God. Can you give him a new heart? Please give him a new heart, dear Lord. And this is just the way that I've learned to, uh, to pray over the years, as Nathan was saying about asking God for the big things. Don't, you know, don't shortchange him and think that, God can only do the little things. He, he can do the greatest things. He made us. He made our bodies. You know, as far as healing is concerned, like I said, he, he can give us uh, new organs. He can give us new muscles, new whatever. He, you know, he's God. And that's, that's the kind of things that when we pray, we, we should be shooting for. But also, on the, on the flip side of that, I was thinking about uh, how we neglect at times to pray to God and think we're bothering him with the little things, too. And I think that's one of the things that the, this verse is about in Philippians. And it says, pray to God in every situation. You know, just whether it's a big thing or it's a small thing. You know, I was at a service at another church one time, and it kind of struck me odd that the pastor was preaching, and he, or he was praying. And he, one of the things he said, he said, God, forgive us for bothering you with the little things in our lives. And I thought, boy, that, that just, you know, that was kind of off. And I thought, you know, that, that's just not right to think that, you know, we're bothering God with the little things. He's God. You know, things don't bother him. He, he, he's all-powerful, almighty, all, you know, he just, he, he can do anything. Why, why would we worry about little things would be bothering him? He, he can take care and handle everything. And as I was thinking about that, praying to God for the small things, I, I was thinking, I know it's summertime, but I was thinking about that, uh, show Christmas, or, uh, yeah, Christmas story with Ralphie and all that. I, I know most people have seen it. They play it over and over at Christmas. But uh, I was thinking, I and mean, I had the, my wife actually bought me, I don't know if you can see it here, the, the Red Rider. It was supposed to represent the one from the, the show. And, you know, Ralphie was just so excited. He, he wanted this 200-shot range model air rifle with a compass in the stock and this thing that tells time. And, and he'd go through the whole spiel, you know, this is what he wanted so bad. But he was so afraid to ask for it and because he was afraid they'd tell him no. So the, I just think of the time he was sitting at the supper table and they were going around. His mother just mentioned, I think it was his mother, says, Ralphie, what do you, what do you want for Christmas? And he says, he just blurted it out. He said, I want the Red Rider 200 shot air model range right and all this stuff. And he spit it and he just went, oh, and he thought, boy, I really messed up. I shouldn't ask for that. And right away, his mother said, oh, you'll shoot your eye out. And that was the worst thing you could have said to him. So he just kind of laughed it off and tried to backstep a little bit. And he said, and he laughed. And he said, ah, I'll just have some Tinker Toys. And I don't know, it's just funny how that ran through my head that, that you know, here, here's this boy, he wanted this, this BB gun so bad, and he was so afraid to ask for it, then he ended up saying, I'll just take some Tinker Toys. And he, he thought to himself, what am I saying? I don't want Tinker Toys, I want this. But he was afraid to say it, and I thought, that's exactly what we do with God. You know, we're, we're afraid to ask for the big things and because we're afraid God will say no or we're say, oh, I don't want to bother him with the, the little things like that. So it's the same exact thing we do. And it, it just struck me, you know, as God put that in my mind, I, it, was, it was just 
a perfect example of how, how funny it is that we do that. We've got to remember that he's God. He's all-powerful, all-knowing, you know, omnipotent, omnipresent, everything. He, he made the universe. He made us. He, he, you know, he knew us before we were born. We can pray anything to him, big or small. The, you know, the smallest things, the smallest prayers are some of the children you think of. They ask for the, you know, the tiniest things like, oh, God, uh, you know, let me... Uh, let me find a frog tomorrow when I go out to play, or you know, little things like that. We, you know, you, you'd be you want to tell the kids, hey, don't you know, don't bother God with stuff like. That. But God wants that. He wants us to come to him with these small things because you know that's a big thing. That's part of prayers. He wants that relationship with us, whether it's big or small. He wants us to ask him for these things. So uh, I want to pray with you here that, that we're not going to be like, like Ralphie in Christmas Story where he's afraid to ask for the big things, so he ends up asking for small things, and that we don't, you know, we're afraid, we don't want to be afraid to come to God for, for the big or the small. So let me pray with you. Dear Lord, I thank you. I, I just thank you that you are such a mighty and powerful God. Uh, the Bible tells us to pray in everything with thanksgiving and petition and, and just everything through prayer, we, we just ask you, dear God, to help us with the big and the little things. And remind us that, that we can bring these things to you just like a, a child with his father. You know, it, we shouldn't be afraid to come to him with the, with the big problems or the little problems or the big things or the little things. Or just, you know, appreciating big things or little things and knowing that you are God and you want that relationship with us. And, and we should just be so overjoyed at that. We just ask you, dear Lord, to please guide us in our prayer. Let us listen when we, we need to listen. Let us speak when we need to speak. And just uh, teach us, dear God. As, as, you know, Nathan was talking about Sunday, teach us how to pray, dear Lord. Show us, show us the way you want us to pray and just continue to guide us and lead us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.